I'm not feeling so good. Are you okay? Oh my God. What's going on? Are you okay? I have the solution for you. Nicole was taken to the hospital. But what was the solution that Cher had? The solution was... <laughs> Some reasons you may take digoxin is if you have mild to moderate heart failure, if you're an adult patient, if you're pediatrics, it can help increase your myocardial contraction, and it can also help control ventricular response in patients with chronic AFib. Digoxin works by improving the strength and efficiency of the heart to control the rate and rhythm which will lead to better blood circulation. It does this by binding and inhibiting the sodium pump, and doing so allows for calcium to increase in the cell, which will lead to better cardiac contractility. Before giving digoxin, monitor potassium and magnesium levels. Low potassium and magnesium levels increase the chance for toxicity. Heart rate and blood pressure should be checked before administering digoxin. Digoxin can be given orally or through IV. The oral dose of digoxin is 0.125 to 0.25 milligrams per day. IV digoxin is dosed in 8 to 12 micrograms per kilogram into three divided doses. It is recommended to take digoxin at least five hours before bed, and digoxin has a small therapeutic index of 0.5 to 2 nanograms per milliliter. It is important to monitor the serum levels to prevent drug toxicity. If you are taking digoxin orally, it will work within one to two hours and will work for three to four days. If you are taking digoxin through an IV, it will work within five to 30 minutes and work for as long as three to four days. Because digoxin stays in the body for a long time and has a long duration of action, a loading dose is often given to bring serum levels of the drug up to a desirable therapeutic level more quickly. Digoxin is contraindicated for people who are allergic to the drug and those with ventricular tachycardia and fibrillation. Digoxin can build to toxic levels causing a decrease in renal function. Please contact your healthcare provider if you take antidysrhythmics, beta blockers, calcium channel blockers, verapamil, quinidine, amiodarone, dronidarone, cyclosporin, ozol, or antifungals to see if digoxin is safe for you. The therapeutic index for digoxin is 0.5 to 0.9. Digoxin is the number one medication used in AFib and congestive heart failure patients. For AFib patients, digoxin works by decreasing the AV node conduction to slow down ventricular rate. The therapeutic effects we see in AFib patients are decreased blood pressure in hypertension patients, improved regularity of rhythm, improved cardiac output, decreased fatigue, and decreased pulse rate without major irregularities. For congestive heart failure patients, digoxin increases inotropy to improve cardiac output. Possible side effects of digoxin include bradycardia or tachycardia, hypotension, headache, fatigue, confusion, convulsions, halo vision, anorexia, nausea and vomiting, and diarrhea.